Hello everybody and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Roblox CCTV system uh, with zero scripting, all able to be configured and it's a really quick, lag unlaggy um, system, perfect for your game. So first of all to get the product you're going to go down into the description, join the discord, uh, go into the free scripts section uh, and download the file. Um, you can do this by going uh, you can go into the description of the video, uh, join the Discord server, and you'll be brought up to this page here on the Discord, as you can see. Um, free scripts, um, this is where all our scripts are logged. As you can see, we've got all the web hooks you may need, uh, game passes, group seats, realistic clouds, Adonis, um, etc, etc. Right, now that we've done that, we are perfect to get going. So, once you've downloaded um, the file, you're going to go into your file explorer, or if you're on Mac, your um, your, your file explorer. I didn't know. Uh, and then you can see uh, the system is imported. It's up here, so you just drag and drop into your game. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get this. You get a readme file, which uh, has everything that you may need as information. Uh, Tattles you to this video again, so you know exactly where you go. Um, once you've done that, I'm going to now follow how to install this system for you. So first of all, you're going to move cameras into workspace, and then you're going to move GUI into start a GUI. As you can see, it brings down a nice GUI in the corner. So now we can test. We don't need to go into game settings, so we don't need to publish the place to test these cameras. If we press play, we can wait for the game to load. Now that we've loaded, as you can see, these are our different camera models. So if, let's just move these out. You can see they're all uh, labeled really nice. Um, quite easy to change as well. Move that one there. Move number two up in the air, facing this way and facing down. Now that we've done that, we can now press play with the camera button and we can now look, view all of the cameras as you can see that's number two number three number six number five and number four or you can go in a row with them it doesn't really matter and once you're done playing with the cameras you can press cameras and it'll bring you back to your main player as you can see all very neat little system no configuring really um, but it's quite easy to configure once we've done that, we're just going to delete the CCTV system model. We don't need it. And then we can go to GUI so I can talk you through it all. So the first button we have is just the normal text button. Uh, this is your button to open the camera module, which is that frame. As we can see, this is the script. Uh, I suggest you don't change this as it's all perfect. Uh, effectively, this is finding uh, a custom camera type. Uh, if local cam equals false, don't change this. Don't make a difference, please. But I'd rather you didn't, otherwise it'd break. That's your general workspace camera, so up here, that's your main player camera. Uh, that is the button, so GY button. And that is to make the frame visible. Now, we can go into frame. These are all ordered, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we go look in number one camera, we'll just make this frame visible for one moment. We'll go to number one camera. And then we can go to local script. Now, this is quite a neat script, nothing special. However, I'll talk you through it. Local button equals script.parent. So that is your local button. Then we've got local POV equals camera points dot one. So if we go up here into camera points, uh, that is your first camera point. So this will be where it looks. Um, Local camera equals game.workspace.camera, which is this camera here. We don't need to change that. And local camera equals false. Uh, that's just our normal uh, trigger. Button dot mouse click one click connect function. Uh, this is going to just be when you click the um, the button. So if you click that button, uh, then we've got workspace.concamera.camera type equals enum.camera type scriptable. So we're just changing the camera type effectively. This is the best way we can do it without having issues. 
Uh, and then we've got camera.cframe equals pov.cframe. Effectively, this just changes the camera from your normal Roblox player to a custom camera. And our custom camera is local POV, and that will be pov.cframe. Okay, now what I'm going to do is show you how to make an extra camera if you so deem to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of camera 6, and we're going to pretend that it's now camera 7. So add a new thing to the GUI. We're going to rename this to camera 7. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go up, and we're going to find where camera 6 was. And because we would pretend we've got a camera 6, what we're going to do is we're going to change this to be called 7. And we're going to be calling this actual camera 7. There you go. Uh, and just so you know, these are meshes, these, um, these cameras. So we can, if you deem you want to, you can move these like that and it will make a difference. Um, okay, now that we've done that, we can now press play. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go quickly stand in front of camera 7, which is that one. And as you can see, it works. There's camera 5, and that's camera 7. Excellent. Uh, to change this text, all we'd have to do is go into here, change this to 7, and then we go and change the actual text font to 7. That is... No, sorry. Um... That would just be normal. So, As you can see, that is how you'd set up the camera system. No flaws, no issues. If you do have an issue, join the Discord. Uh, that's where all the models are, obviously. But also, uh, if you want to, you can uh, ask for help in the help section. Anyway, I hope this uh, helps, and we will see you all in another one. Bye-bye.